Welcome to the ghetto. I don't know what you call this, industrial park. It's all like metalwork and yards and warehouses and very loud. It's a very loud place. All right, uh, it's 4.56. I got about five, I got here a little before five, perfect. Learning so far, uh, I definitely don't need to be here at 5 a.m., but I don't mind getting before to be here at five to see my brothers, because they're here uh, at five or earlier sometimes. And it's the slow, this is literally the slowest part of the day for them, which means it's the only time that I actually can sit down and have a conversation with them. It's really the only time that we can kind of have a quote unquote meeting. Unfortunately, my dad is not here this early, though he's been up earlier than us putting the last bit of orders in. Because sometimes orders will come in as late as 10 p.m. Obviously, everyone's in bed and everything, but he'll wake up in the morning, uh, usually like 1 in the morning, and just before I was in, he would, whatever orders he didn't put in last night before he went to bed, uh, he put all those orders in. He's up early, but he doesn't get into the office until you know a little after six or whatever uh, on any given day. Again, every that's the thing I'm learning. This this job every day is different. Nothing is 100% the same every day. Similarities, right? But it's like like this rolling up and down hill. I'm in the office today's my brother Austin's birthday. Uh, he's 39. Uh, as, you, as you saw in the last vlog, I bought him a bottle of whiskey and uh, I brought some little little muffin things, so I'm gonna head in there before he, he, I don't think he's here yet. Travis is here, I don't think Austin's is here yet, so I'm gonna go get things settled in, so let's rock and roll. Well, it's such a crazy whirlwind of a, of a morning. Wednesdays are one of their busiest days, uh, and it's just go, go, go all the time. And because we had an extra guy on the dock today, I was in the office with my dad, trying to get some stuff done in the office, which I did, made some, made some progress on a couple different things, which always feels good when you check those little boxes and get those little wins. Um, but, like I said, I wasn't out here to really vlog anything for you guys. And that's always the catch, the tricky part with these vlogs. It's like, I start my morning off going like, oh yeah, I'm going into work. And I never really know what the day's gonna bring. So, I started the vlog, but now it's like, I feel like I got nothing for the vlog. The guys are all out for the day, uh, doing their deliveries. The dock's been cleaned up. Uh, last thing for my dad and I to come in here and kind of do a quick inventory. See what, if we're short on anything or low on anything, make any orders for tomorrow. Kind of look at what orders we normally get on Thursday. And again, it's the, the, the biggest problem right now is just keeping things in stock. A lot of shortages, a lot of crazy weather going on in the country, which messes up with crops. I mean, we're working with produce here, so when there's a crazy rainstorm or a crazy heat, a heat wave, crops die, and then you know there's prices go up and there's shortages. And so then my dad has to like call their vendors, hey, do you have this product? Do you have that product? Like for example, buttermilk. There's a shortage of buttermilk. Nobody's got buttermilk. We've been out of buttermilk for over a week. Crazy, right? So I haven't really given you guys a tour just yet, and I'll be honest with you, I don't really want to until we have some things kind of cleaned up and put around. Um, you guys have been running so hard lately that just things just quite aren't put away where they should be. But we're making little progress here and there uh, with an extra set of hands. Uh, but anyway, there's two coolers that, that they, they operate out of. Uh, the first cooler, the one that's louder and the one they're in the most of the time, that's where the majority of the produce is, all the vegetables, uh, go in there because it's a colder fridge. It's like basically like a refrigerator. So it's, I think, 34 degrees, 35, give or take. This one's warmer um, because this is where the tomatoes go. You got your onions, your dry goods. And if you ever look at the side of a box of tomatoes, if you ever get a chance, look what, you, look what you're, the, the, the temperature of the tomatoes are supposed to be. It says right here, do not refrigerate. Just dry is, is between 50 and 70 degrees. So really, 60 degrees is where you want your tomatoes to be at. So you should never refrigerate your tomatoes unless you absolutely, like it's go, it's get, like you wanna to try to preserve it. Putting your tomatoes in the fridge will make them last longer, but you're gonna lose flavor. So see here on this back wall, this is all the way in the back, it's sitting around, what is that, 56 degrees? Pallets of onions, lots of different kinds of tomatoes, lots of different kinds of tomatoes that we, that, that we, that we, that we, we serve. And there you go. Left arm, left arm, go, go, go. Good, all right. One thing that's definitely happening being out here with these guys is I'm definitely getting a workout. <laughs> Not only am I hitting like all my step goals and getting my steps in and burning my calories and whatnot, but uh, I'm definitely feeling it in the shoulders and the, my back, my legs, everything. Everything's a little, just not super sore like I worked out, but I definitely feel like I'm using my muscles that I'm not used to using. Yikes. We're back to this. Oof. All right, so I'm back home. Um, going straight away to my, my, my office. Kick on the PC, he's gonna do a stream. I should be able to do about four, four and a half hours tonight. Um, not as long as I'd like, but better than nothing. I haven't streamed in two days, so um, 
it's time, time to do that. I was gonna stream yesterday and do a little happy hour stream, but um, when I checked in with my dad and I saw that there was about eight orders I had already come in, I decided that uh, it was probably better for me to help him. What I've learned so far in the weekend after I've been down there is that all the changes they wanna make, all the changes that need to be made, can't be made right now because of just the day-to-day -day operations. Um, they need, there needs to be some relief, and the relief is gonna be those two drivers. So, can't really do anything, can't really take any steps forward until we get, until we get those drivers uh, hired, trained, and then my brothers can like kind of let them do their thing, and uh, things will start to get a lot easier for everybody. So, there's your update. Did my live stream, absolute loving Cyberpunk 27.7. Um, never, never, never beat it the first time. I played about 30, 35 hours into it, and then uh, I think Tarkov got, took me away, possibly, most likely. Um, but anyway, I'm absolutely loving Cyberpunk 2077, loving Night City, and uh, super excited that they announced the sequel. They're gonna be doing a sequel, not a direct sequel, not like the V is obviously gonna be done after the DLC, but more Cyberpunk IP, which I'm very excited about. Anyway, I uh, wrapped up my live stream and uh, made a quick dinner, kind of put the tiff in the kids, and then uh, I showered, came in here, put a couple orders in for my dad, and it's a little after 10.30 and I'm exhausted. Gonna go to bed. Sleep's starting to catch up with me. Last week, I like I, I was like energized, and it was weird. Like I was waking up early every morning, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. I always woke up before my alarm went off. So far this week, I've woken up from my alarm all three days. And the last couple nights, I've been getting less than six hours of sleep, which six is my, my I need to get at least six. Uh, sometimes I'll get seven, but six is my, my minimum. And I'm getting like five and 5.30, and then five and a half, and I, I'm starting to feel it, so. Um, I didn't get all the orders done, but I at least gave my a head start for tomorrow morning. Um, anyway, we call it a night. I'll see you guys in the next one.